Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Ticket tip Thursday. Let's get to it. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Travis here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all fun with your tickets. Today, we're talking about selling tickets, specifically mobile screenshot, mobile QR code tickets. These tickets are basically tickets that aren't being transferred directly through a Ticketmaster account. They're being sold as a QR code or barcode itself. Now, there are a few little intricacies and things to remember here. So we're gonna talk about how to go ahead, actually go and sell these tickets. And then a few different things you need to consider before you go ahead and actually start doing this over and over again, because you may run into some problems. But with that being said, it is possible to sell them. So let's discuss. First off, Mobile screenshot tickets, what exactly are they? Basically, it's when you go into your Ticketmaster account or wherever you're getting your tickets from and then being sent something like this. Basically, it's a mobile screenshot. As you can see here, I'm just switching around, moving around. This is not a real web page, it's just a photo, but this ticket is still valid to get you into that event. Now, it's possible though that if you had bought a ticket online, you bought it as a mobile QR code and you may have received something like this. And you'd be thinking, I just got a photo. I don't know if this is real. What am I supposed to do with this? Thing, it's useless. Well, not quite. You can actually go ahead and sell this, but there's a, there's a little bit of work involved with doing that. If you are either trying to create your own mobile screenshot tickets or you've received a mobile screenshot ticket, all you need to do is actually convert it into a PDF file and then upload that to sell that seat. Now, one big disclaimer, if you are selling mobile screenshot tickets, I need to make this very, very clear. If you're selling it as a mobile screenshot ticket, you need to ensure that the listing states that it's a mobile screenshot ticket. You cannot sell this as a PDF delivery because if you sell it as PDF, you're able to use this ticket, print it out and show it to the ticket attendant and they will basically scan it and let you in. It doesn't work that way. You must show these type of tickets on your mobile browser, on your phone. So if you are selling it, you cannot sell it as a PDF ticket. Hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments below because I need to make sure that it's very, very clear. You're not selling a PDF delivery. You're selling a mobile QR screenshot. So you may receive something like this. You may go into your Ticketmaster account and generate a ticket like so. All you need to do is basically take a screenshot on your phone and then you need to convert this into a PDF. Initially, when you create this file, maybe a JPEG or some other format, but you need to turn it into a PDF. So the easiest way I do it, well, because I have an Apple phone, the way I do it, I use Apple to go ahead and create that PDF. If you're using an Android or whatever, I'm sure there's very similar ways of doing it, but I'm gonna show you the Apple way because the Apple way, it's the only way I know how. All right, so once you've taken your screenshot, next thing you need to do is actually go into print the screenshot and turn it into a PDF. So do that, basically tap on the picture, click share, and then as you scroll down, you're gonna see this button called print. So let's hit that guy. And when you're here, the next thing is, you know, you normally when you go and print, it would just go and print it off into wherever you have your printer set up. But in this case, we're actually gonna pinch and zoom into the picture and it'll give us more options. And this time though, I'm gonna hit save to file. So go ahead, select that one. And then all you have to do is just hit save. In this case, as you can see, it says replace existing items. I already have another screenshot saved, but as you can see, the extension is no longer a JPEG or another photo format. It is a PDF. Because it's a PDF, you now have the file available that you can go ahead and upload when you are trying to sell these tickets. So then when you go to StubHub or wherever, you're selling as a mobile screenshot, mobile QR code delivery, you go ahead, upload this ticket here, and that will let you actually make that sale. Very, very simple, very easy, very straightforward, nothing to it. Now you're thinking, okay, this is if someone sent me the ticket, but what if, uh, what if I went and actually added the ticket to my mobile wallet? What about then? Answer, same exact thing. Go ahead, create screenshots from here as well and do the exact same thing. Take that screenshot, print it, turn it into a PDF, save that again, and there you go. All done, very easy, very simple, nothing else to it. Now, last thing I wanna mention, if you are selling tickets as mobile screenshots, mobile QR codes, the only thing I have to mention is that you cannot do this for anything with a rotating barcode. What do I mean by that? Basically, some events, they're designed so that the barcode itself is rotating or moving. This basically means that when you get to the ticket attendant, the barcode is moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you're not actually able to take a screenshot of that ticket because it needs to be moving for the QR code to kind of be active and valid. Because of that, you cannot use this for rotating barcodes. Let me show you guys a quick example, all right? Very minute in this case, but it's just a little baseball rotating back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Basically, this barcode will only be active or valid with this moving feature going on. Basically, as you can see even here, it says no screenshots allowed. So barcode needs to be rotating or moving. If this little baseball is not going back and forth, these tickets will not be working. So don't be trying to take screenshots of tickets like these because they will not work when you go into the event. 
So if you do sell a ticket like this, where it is a rotating barcode, you will run into problems, you will get a busted order, you will pay lots of fees, and it won't be fun for nobody. Okay, very simple, very easy. If you are selling mobile screenshots, mobile QR codes, go ahead, do that, turn them into PDFs, upload them, everyone is happy. Don't do it for rotating barcodes, you will run into trouble, both yourself and the person who's actually buying those tickets. And that's all you need to know to sell these types of tickets. If you guys are looking to buy tickets, I have a whole bunch of links to different resale marketplaces down below, so go ahead, check those out. If you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below as well. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming out every single week. And see you guys next time.